I was getting deported from Finland this morning and that got me thinking what is the most satisfying video I could possibly ever make ever on this channel. Well in today's video I'm going to show you an absolute awesome exploit where you can call in unlimited amounts of traded rockets and that gives us a very satisfying thing we can do with them. So let's get into today's video. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've built a small platform and I'm going to call down one of these trade rockets. Now they are brand new in the 4.0 update. So anybody can actually do this right now and they're super, super, super awesome. Now just with the way that they fall down and with the way that they just work, you're able to actually trap them. Now, the whole idea behind this is we need to build some kind of a cage that will allow it to be trapped. Now, you can use just about anything for this, but what I'm going to do is so I can actually see the actual rocket on the inside of the cage, I'm just going to do like a 4x4 window or something along that manner, and that way then we'll be able to see the rocket, but then we'll need to go inside of it and activate it so then it wants to then fly off. So I've gone ahead and I've built a little bit higher just so that I can encase the entire rocket. Now, originally I was going to build a 4x4, but I managed to just get it all in one square. Now, we just need to go ahead and launch this rocket. So I'm going to clean up my inventory here just a little bit whilst I do it so everything's all nice and clean. So launch rocket. Now, if this works, what should happen is the rocket should get trapped. And it does. The best thing is it will now permanently stay there. And also, we can call in another rocket. So that's the second rocket being called in, and it's landed. I built another shroud around it. So it's just a case now of launching this rocket, and hopefully the two rockets should stay put. Fantastic. So this gives me an idea. What if we can call unlimited amounts of rockets, and we can essentially trap each and every one of them? I hope you can see where I'm going with this. So far, so good. The unlimited amounts of rockets seems to be, in fact, true. And you're actually able to call in as many as you want. But you need to, in order to get the unlimited amount of rockets to start coming in, you need to make sure that it lands, put an item in, launch it so the game thinks that it's it's gone off somewhere. Obviously, it hasn't. And then you're able to call in another one. If you try and call in another one when, when one's already landed, it doesn't work. It just sends that other rocket away. But you can see I'm extending out this platform. And I'm going to extend it out quite a bit. So I've got some work to do. Ah, uh, so far so good. Now, as you can see, more rockets are landing. Now, my whole idea behind this is to trap loads and loads and loads of rockets. And at the end, I'm going to try and funnel them all into one specific spot. Where then I can launch them all back at the same time it's almost like trying to like pop a spot or something it's gonna be absolutely glorious so make sure you stick around until the end in order to see what happens but so far everything is is going to plan now i've managed to get down some of the build time just by building a small shroud just over the top rather than encasing the entire thing so that will help with the build time with this but as you can see i've still got a, a lot of work to do here all right, so that's the first rung done. I'm going to do this again, but on the opposite side. And these rockets are all absolutely lined up. It's actually beautiful. Now, these rockets could actually be used for other things. So, for example, base decorations. Now, with the flames that they give off alone, you could build a fire with these things or even go even more creative because the light that they give off as well is distributed equally and it actually makes an entire base light up the only problem about building like i don't know lights for these things for like it in a base would be the noise so it wouldn't be probably the most practical use of a light but you know it is a use case for them i guess but i mean at the end of the day we've still got a long way to go here so i need to get back to work Alrighty, so that's just about all of them done. I'm just calling in the last one now. And again, this is worked like an absolute treat. I'm able to literally call in as many as I want. If I wanted to, I could extend it past this. But I think for today's video, we are going to just call in this last one here. And then I've got another idea. Now, what I need to do is just finish it up. Just polishing off the sides here. Just make sure that no rocks can escape. 
if my theory is correct, because the rockets are leaning on the side, that way then they want to go in one direction. So for me, it's they want to go directly to the to the, to the right. So if I go inside here and I go ahead and just delete these walls, you can see how they start to move across and they start to conjugate into each other. Now, if I just delete this bottom row here, it updates the the, the, the tracker that these things are obviously using in order to fly from one point to another. So if I go ahead and just start deleting now the shroud around them, they should all conjugate into one spot, which seems to be exactly the case, which essentially means I can literally just lift the roof off at the very end and look at that, they can all conjugate in one spot and then fly off like I said, like popping a spot. But that's the idea I had behind this. I mean, this is gonna be ultra, ultra satisfying. Yeah, my my madness here right now knows no bounds. And at the end of the day, I terrify myself with what I'm able to do in this game. This is actually insane. Imagine if you was just a normal player right now, flying over the top of this base and all of a sudden you have 20 of these rockets literally firing directly at you you would honestly shit yourself i know i would but what we need to do is not beat around the bush we need to let these things go we need to pop the spot now and i'm really excited to do this so here we go in three two one here we go oh my god god look at that have you ever seen anything like that that is insane wow now imagine we did this on a bigger scale holy smokes so i mean guys there you have it at the end of the day it is completely possible to trap rockets wow that's really really cool and they just kind of like all just go over there i don't even know did they actually just stay there i don't think they do now, I did go and find, or try and find those rockets. However, for some reason, they just did despawn as soon as I got close to them. I did try and reload the autosave as well that I made just before releasing those rockets. I did that off camera. However, when you reload your autosave, the building that, for example, you use to trap them will still be there. However, what won't still be there is the rocket. So it is a one-time use gag. However, it is super fun to build. I encourage absolutely any single one of you to go ahead and build something like this. Even build it a lot bigger than me. But honestly, that was so much fun to do. And it actually didn't take as much time as I thought. Anyway, guys, that's everything from me here today. And as always, my name is Professor Cynical. And I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.